Prosecutors called it a crime scene. A father and son killed instantly. A six-year-old girl so badly injured she later died. Kua Lee's Toyota Camry was going up to 90 miles an hour before it slammed into the back of their car. Quincy Adams was injured in the wreck that killed his son and young grandson. I try not to think about it, but you can't help it. It's there all the time, every day. Nine months later, Lee was charged with vehicular homicide. The mother of the girl who died testified against him. And like I told him, you know, you, you're, you still, you're here. Your family has you. I have a baby that I brought into this world, and I had plans to watch her grow up to be a beautiful young lady, and she had dreams of her own. I don't have that anymore. Lee insisted he tried to stop. I tried, to, I, I tried everything I could to stop the car, but, you know, because the brake's not working, and no one believed me. I feel like, why? He got eight years in jail. <laughs> <laughs> but in August, Lee walked out of jail a free man. Prosecutors dropped the charges after reports surfaced of unintended acceleration in other Toyotas. Now, Lee's exoneration is Toyota's problem. The two families have come together to sue Toyota. It's extraordinary in a way that now this person that you blamed, you're on the same side of this lawsuit. We want justice for, Lee, for our family, and for Lee's family. The lawsuit filed in federal court here claims that the Camry's design was defective and that Toyota knew the car could suddenly accelerate. But instead of trying to fix the problem, the suit says, the company tried to cover it up. Toyota says the car, a 1996 Camry, was examined by three separate experts. They found no evidence it was defective. The 96 Camry has a 15-year history of, of safety. Uh, it had a brake system that was state-of-the-art for the time it was built, and uh, it's never been subject to a uh, recall for safety or uh, acceleration. Toyota says that it wasn't their fault. Yeah. Then why is Mr. Lee free? But even a victory in court won't bring back the three lives lost or the three years lost by the Lees. Jan Crawford, CBS News, St. Paul, Minnesota.